Hey guys, it's Baby Powder. I'm coming to you with another one of my amazing multi-boss gold guides. And today, I am going to be bringing you my next 10-hour gold farm. Now, uh, I know it's been taking me a little longer to actually put these out than I will have in the past. Which, you know, I have been pushing to get them done. But real life's been, you know, uh, causing it to delay me a little bit. Um, but yeah, guys, I know you guys look forward to these somewhat uh, because, you know, I do as well to see exactly what these farms can, you know, provide you after doing them multiple times. Uh, and if you've been watching my stream and stuff, you know, I've been working on the black tabby cat farm uh, for my next 10 hour <laughs> farm. And uh, which means uh, we did during the first hour, I streamed it and I had everybody like, you know, take a guess. And I said I would give a shout out to whoever got it right. There was two people that got it right on the money. And that was Elunius and Crowley John. So congratulations guys, you did guess it right. It was just for bragging rights, but here's a shout out. Uh, but anyway guys, let's go ahead and get into it and see how many I got. All right guys, so for this farm, it is, of course, as you probably know, if you've already seen the first uh, one hour farm, this is the Black Tabby Cat Farmer. If you've been watching me, you know, during stream, you know, I've been doing the 10 hour farm for Black Tabby. Uh, so if you're not, you haven't seen the one hour farm video, I'll leave a link up at the top of the screen, go check that one out. Uh, and it shows you, you know all the locations and everything like that again I'm not going to go over all that because I've already did in the one hour farm uh, But we'll show you where we are at least which uh, we are in Hillsbrad foothills because that's you know Where you need to kill mobs in order to get the black tabby and we're located right here uh, Right below the East Point Tower and uh, right to the right of the ruins of South Shore uh, but anyway guys, let's go ahead and switch over to my bank tune and see exactly what I got for doing this for 10 hours All right guys, so now that we're over here on my bank tune that has all my loot for my 10 hour stream our 10 hour farms uh, This is what we got. So first off with the black tabbies in case you weren't watching the stream You don't remember what they guessed. We got seven of the black tabby cats uh, For doing it for 10 hours, <laughs> which means I did go some hours without getting one uh, Which actually I think there was what like four one hour sessions that I didn't even get a black tabby cat uh, I did get some other good things during those hour sessions uh, and actually all my other one hour sessions only got like one except for my actual last hour I got two during that one hour session uh, that was the only hour session that actually got two of the black tabby cats uh, so yeah I would say as far as farming the actual pet the other farm that I did covered uh, which if you haven't seen that one, that's the horde only version uh, is a lot better. I'll leave it up at the top, top of the screen so you can check it out. But I got like five in that one hour session. Uh, so yeah, seven and 10 hours. But I do feel like you get better, possible better transmog with this one. As I don't feel like I really got it that time, but I only did it for one hour. So I have to go back and try that one for 10 hours and then we can kind of compare. Uh, and I, I'll do that at some point, but uh, Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at, like I said, I got 10 of the black tabby cats as they're going right now. There's actually none of the cat carriers up on my auction house. So I need to get one up, uh, but they're, they have a market value of 77,000 and they have a region value of 92, almost 93,000 gold. Uh, I actually put these boots over here. I know they're really low and they're, they'll go with my low value bank alt, but look at them. They are at 1300 gold on my realm and only 625 gold region value but look at that sell rate 0.11 that's really high for a transmog item so actually i decided to go ahead and show them just because of how high that sell rate was i thought that was pretty good um other than that the other green items that we got they're really kind of worth going over uh insignia bracers we got two of those uh 6, on my realm 12,000 region um then we got the Sage's Staff, 21, almost 22,000 my realm, 27,000 region. Uh, we got the Quartz Ring, almost 10,000 my realm, 16,000 region. We got the uh, these Glimmering Pieces, which, you know, yeah, it's kind of low for this one, but 0 0.03 cell rate, and it's got a really nice look to it, as you see here. Uh, almost 3,000 my realm, 7,000 region. Uh, we have uh, the Greaves, which are actually higher, which are 11,000 my realm. 11,000 region uh, We got the silver thread armor Almost 80,000 my realm. So really good for that one uh, 53,000 region 
Uh, then we got the Mail Combat Gauntlets, 8,000, almost 9,000 my realm, 13,000 region. Uh, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Hat, a uh, hat, a <laughs> leather hat for 9,000 my realm, 7,000 region. And we've got three of the Buccaneers vests. Uh, actually really low right now though. 5,000 my realm, 13,000 region. Um, we got two of the manual of strong anti-venoms, uh, 12,000 my realm, 7,000 region. Uh, then as far as blues go, we got two of the Thorbius gauntlets, 7,000 my realm, 6,000 region. Two little Timmy P shooters, almost 13,000 my realm, 11,000 region. Uh, silver line belt, 21, 000, almost 22,000 my realm, and actually only about 5,000 region. Uh, then we got uh, Keller's griddle, 13,000 my realm, 10,000 region, almost 11,000 region. Uh, we also got Mage Fist gloves, 15,000 my realm, two of those, uh, 15,000 my realm, 22,000, almost 23,000 region. Uh, two of the black velvet robes, which actually are kind of low in my realm right now. Only about 4,500 my realm, but 16,000 region. Um, double link tunic, uh, 9,000 my realm, 7,000 region. And the searing blade, which actually is kind of low in my realm as well, but it's like 14,000 region, but only about 4,000 my realm. And then we got the anti-podine rod, which is like 20,000 my realm, 10,000 region. Now, I actually got three of these. There's two more in my gill bank, just because you can't hold but one because they're unique. As you see, you know, right there underneath the description, it says it's unique. It will not it will only let you hold one in your bag at a time. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's go ahead and pull up my chat box here so we can see exactly what the value of all these items is. I mean, like I said, this is just the items I decided to show. I mean, there are a lot more things I'm going to show you in the guild bank afterwards that, you know, are like low value and stuff like that. I just didn't feel like it was worth going over, uh, which actually, I mean, I'll still sell and everything and they're still decent items. Uh, but these are like the, you know, really key items that I kind of got from doing this for 10 hours. But after we use our macro, we got 970,943 gold in value. So actually a lot better than I was kind of thinking it was going to be after I actually had like three one hour sessions where I didn't get a single black cat tabby cat. And I kind of was like looking at it like, oh man, this might be pretty bad after all. Uh, but actually like some of those sessions, like now that I look back, you know, it kind of made up for it when I didn't get the black tabby cat. I kind of got some of the better pieces of the transmog during those one hour sessions. So, I, I mean, this farm, yeah, if you're just aiming for the black tabby cat, you know, if you really need it really bad, you know, definitely go out and do the other horde one, which, like I said, is up at the top of the screen. You can check it out. Uh, but if you kind of need some transmog and, you know, you're not really hurting for the black tabby cat, but you like to take a chance at it, you know, do this one. Uh, it's still a great farm. I still enjoy doing it. I probably won't want to do it for a little while at least now for doing after doing it for 10 hours. It's kind of like him after doing any of my farms for like 10 hours. Uh, but uh, but yeah, still definitely a good farm. I still enjoy doing it, which honestly is the best farm to do is the one you enjoy. So uh, but anyway, guys, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the guild bank to see what else I got. It's not really worth going over. And of course, we got like the you know classic gems here we got a bunch of those uh we got all these low pieces of transmog items we also got all these low pieces of low value pieces of transmog and almost another guild bank full so i mean you still get plenty of other items and like these are still decent items to put up on the auction house on my low value bank alt uh just like i said not something i really wanted to you know pin you know spotlight and stuff like that uh, we also got all these lock boxes, so almost a guild bank tab full of lock boxes. Uh, so definitely a lot of stuff we actually got that we didn't actually show. Um, all right, guys. So to conclude the 10 hour farm of the black tabby cat, we got seven black tabbies. And again, congratulations to Alunius and to Crowley John for guessing it right for their, uh, they guessed seven and they were right on the money. Uh, and you know, still, I was hoping I was going to kind of get more. I really, I, I am happy I did this though, because I was wondering, uh, cause I know I've gotten two black tabbies from doing this for one hour before. I know I've had some sessions where I haven't gotten any, but I was kind of curious whether or not I would actually be able to get more than just two for doing, you know, in a one hour session. And, you know, within 10 hours, I didn't 
you know exceed that amount and only one of my one hour sessions did i get to uh so so yeah i i did kind of you know see whether or not you know that could happen which i mean it still possibly could i mean maybe for doing it more but after doing it for 10 hours and not getting more than two uh, it kind of tells me right there it would take a long time if it is possible it would take a long time for that to happen um at least with this farm but like i said i still feel like you know for those one hour sessions where i didn't get one we made up for it with some of the transmog items so still a great farm i enjoy doing it but <laughs> i probably won't be wanting to do it for a while still though we made almost 1 million gold in value for 10 hours so so pretty good there uh, but anyway, guys, I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, go ahead and make sure you hit that thumbs up down below. Also, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you make sure you don't miss another one of my amazing multi-box gold guides and another one of these 10-hour farms. Uh, and, guys, if there is a 10-hour farm you want me to do next, make sure you put a comment down below. I'm always looking to see what you guys would like to see for these 10-hour farms. Uh, if not, I'll just choose one. But uh, if somebody does suggest one, I would definitely hop on it and try to make that my next 10-hour farm. Uh, also guys don't forget that I'm streaming on Twitch and I've also got links for Discord and for uh, Twitter and Facebook down below you can come and join me on those as well uh, but anyway guys that's about all I have uh, for this video this is baby powder peace I'm out